continuing to field questions for you, Samili. I have a student who says he is failing the UWorld questions in immunology and wants to know what he should do to get his immunology scores up. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do so you don't waste any fucking time on immunology, okay? So you know exactly what you have to uh, to pass the step one without all the nonsense. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So the students having problems with immunology, what do we do? How do we get your immunology scores up? Now, for those of you who've been following my content, you'll know that I am going to say, right, you got to do my fucking high yield immunology PDF. All right. I'm going to link it in a pinned comment below. It's literally the best fucking resource out there right now for immunology. Look, I mean, life's about alternatives. Uh, there's some points to note. Number one, uh, first aid is pretty weak for immuno. They don't tie the story together well. Okay, so if you go through FA, uh, you might just pick up a bunch of random factoids for immuno, but you're kind of left saying, I don't really get immuno though. Like, I still don't understand how things are pieced together. My high yield PDF. I fucking piece the story together for you. So I don't make it some superfluous 400 page textbook on immuno, but I give you a mix of the high yield factoids you need to know based on the NBME exams, as well as sort of a basic foundation slash story, such as what do you need to know about a B cell? What do you need to know about a T cell? Okay, some, some basic foundation first. And then we move into some of the factoids. So I, I piece a story together for you. Amino is a difficult story to tell, but my PDF fucking nails it, all right? Another point I was going to make is I don't think you should be off studying obscure resources, videos, all this stu other stuff on Amino. Where students get, where students fall into a trap is starting to absorb lots of resources that build potential energy, this feeling that, you know, it's a good feeling to be learning stuff, but doesn't actually contribute to score augmentation on your real deal. If you want to get your scores up, you got to go through lots of QBank questions on Immuno. And if you're struggling with the QBank questions already in Immuno, the answer is you have to do fucking more questions on Immuno and you have to just read the explanations. And then you got to go through my high yield immunology PDF. Okay. It's nothing dramatic. It's nothing complicated, but that's what you have to do. So lots and lots of practice questions my high yield PDF on Immuno. As I said, I'll, I'll link it in the pinned comments below and that should drive your Immuno scores up uh, well above what you need to pass the step one. And that PDF tends to be a favorite among students. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.